let's get into it. So what I want to have with the feeling, you're working on your connection, right? You're working on your tempo. Um, something to add that you even said that you like um, to feel is you almost feel like you're trying to come across it a little bit. So we're going to kind of work with that a little bit, and we're going to talk more about your hands as they're coming through and the handle of the club. Okay. So go ahead and hold the club with both your hands, all right? Because what's clearly happened is the club face is closed as you're coming through impact. I mean, it's closed too much, right? Um, your grip position, I think, looks pretty good. At the top, but as we're coming through, the club face is definitely shut. Okay, so go ahead and put the club down. And what our tendency and what we have happen a lot of times as you're coming through is as you're swinging down, your club's coming through and you're trying to follow through at the target and sometimes even a little bit off to the right a little bit, okay? But what I want to have start feeling, instead of coming across the ball, I want you to start feeling like the handle here. As you're coming through, I want your hands to come through a little bit higher and a little bit more left. So it's gonna feel something like this. Does that make sense? So again, it's gonna, as you come through, you're gonna feel the handle come a little bit higher and left, okay? Now this is gonna feel a little bit strange because you're probably thinking, well, if I finish, high into the left, I might hit another hook, right? But you'll be surprised what's going to do with the club face. So again, as we're coming through the impact zone, we're going to finish a little bit a little higher and a little bit more left, okay? Uh, you, don't feel like you, you don't have to feel like you're holding it off, but I want to have this going as we're coming through impact, okay? okay. All right, so I want you to do a couple practice things, and then uh, we'll start here. How'd that feel? Felt really good. Okay. Can you, can, you, can you still feel the difference? Absolutely. As you're coming through the impact zone? Alright. The contact again was good. Right? Contact was really good. Okay. So you got the club to come up now. Let's set up real quick because I think we need to understand the difference between what a chip shot is and a pitch shot. Do you know what the difference between a chip shot and a pitch shot is? Let's talk about what you do with the swing that's different, okay? okay. So, in a chip shot, um, typically when we're swinging, we're not really using that much wrist. I mean, we're not hinging our wrists in the swing. So, um, if I could demonstrate, I if I use your club for a second. Um, so, when we, when we do a chip swing, we're actually not really using very much of our wrist. When we start to pitch, we start to add this hinge. Now, if you try to hit a pitch style swing, um, when we're close to the green like this and we can actually hit a, a chip shot, it can add some difficulty for the contact, okay? So we can still get your club to come up a little bit steeper without using our wrist. So um, to re-explain that, we want to get the club head up, but we don't need to have so much hinge and wrist action in the swing. So it's almost like... Uh, it's almost like a putt swing, right? You know, you know... You Let's think of it that way. So really, let's try to start taking the wrists out, okay? We're still going to get the club head up and a little bit away from us so that we swing down and, and try to hit that imaginary spot in front of the ball, okay? okay? So go ahead and try it out. Take a couple practice swings. Good contact. That's good. Feel better, right? Those last four were pretty good. Yeah. Would you agree? 